Welcome to the Go Wags Physics of Baseball series. The purpose of these short instructional clips is to help the viewer understand the irrefutable laws of physics that govern our instructional techniques at Go Wags. This particular clip explains how the law of conservation of momentum can help a developing pitcher gain velocity. For simplicity, the law of conservation of momentum states that once momentum is created in a closed system, the total momentum cannot change. What is a closed system, you ask? It means there are no external forces acting on you. In other words, unless someone decides to knock you over while you're in the act of pitching, it's a closed system. Here, Richard Garriott in his space blog illustrates the principle a little bit better. Is moving and causes the other to move, or they're both moving and collide and move off in different directions, the total speed and the total mass of the entire system always remains the same. So for example, if this had a, a, a velocity of zero, and that had a velocity of one, the first one might impart some of its momentum onto the second, but the total between the two remains the same. And that remains the same whether one remains still and the other comes to collide with it, or whether they're colliding with each other. It even works, in this case I put Velcro, it even works if these two stick together, the total momentum remains the same. So for example, if I can get these two to stick together while one is stationary and the other is moving towards it, once they stick together, the total momentum remains the same, so the combined objects will have half the velocity of the one initially that was moving. So how does this apply to pitching and specifically throwing harder? Let's go ahead and look at some examples now. Okay, here we have Billy Wagner of the Mets, widely regarded as one of the hardest throwers in baseball. There's one thing that I want you to notice at this point. I want you to notice how wide of a stride he has. In fact, it's so wide, his back leg is actually off the rubber. Uh, in fact, considerably off the rubber. And as it relates to momentum, why is that? The answer is because he is creating momentum at this point. Remember, as soon as the front foot lands, you can no longer create momentum. You have to transfer it at that point. That's why a nice long stride is imperative for throwing harder, because it builds momentum. Okay, here we have another example. Here we have Justin Verlander of the Detroit Tigers. And like Billy Wagner, Justin is, an, is a very hard thrower, routinely clocked in the 100 mile an hour range. Again, you'll notice a very wide stride length for Justin. Um, remember, a wide stride length allows you to create more momentum. As soon as that front foot hits, we can no longer build and create momentum. We have to transfer it. So in these next clips, we're going to discuss how do we transfer the momentum we've created with a nice long stride. Okay, great. We've got a long stride and we've built momentum. Now what? How does that translate to throwing harder? Now we need to take all that momentum we've created down the mound and transfer it up to the arm. How do we do that? And more importantly, how does this law of conservation of momentum apply? We're going to use the Justin Verlander and Billy Wagner clips again to show how a hard throwing pitcher transfers his momentum. In these clips, I want you to watch the landing leg of these pitchers at release and see if you notice anything. Look at how violently they brace off that front leg. What are they doing and why are they doing it? Remember, as it relates to the law of conservation of momentum, the total momentum of a system cannot change. Therefore, in order to get all of the momentum up to the arm, you need to stop all of the momentum down at the legs. And as a result, it looks like this. Okay, same thing here with Billy Wagner. He's got a long stride and right at release we see that front leg really bracing hard so he can stop all of the momentum below the belt and transfer it up to the arm. And just in case we have any old timers out there listening and are a little skeptical of maybe this new way of teaching or this new way of thinking about pitching. I've got a clip in here of Sandy Koufax and you can see based on his delivery and his technique 
he also believed and applied the law of conservation of momentum to throw harder. In summary, to throw harder, you must 1. Create more momentum with a nice, long, powerful stride. 2. Transfer that momentum by bracing hard off the front hip. If you'd like to schedule a lesson with Brett to have your form evaluated using our state-of-the-art Casio EX-F1 video camera, you can contact him at the number and at the email address listed on the screen.